Hello there again. This is day five of quarantine, Dundalk, Maryland. We're going to be making Brussels sprouts gratin. And I just sneezed twice. There's no Rona here. I just sneezed twice. Okay. Um, we've got two pounds of Brussels sprouts that I've already cut the ends off, cut them in half, and I blanched them. So they get this real pretty, they get this real pretty light green color. Oh, look, it matches my nails. Okay, they get there. Now, we're going to start by making the roux. So, the ingredients to this is two pounds of Brussels sprouts, two tablespoons of butter, which I use vegan butter. Okay, just because it's easy and it's there and it's less calories. Two tablespoons of flour. Okay, we have one and fourth cup of milk. And this is my favorite glass of all time from Endless Summer Down the Beach. Um, milk. Okay, one cup of grated Parmesan cheese. You can use Parmesan, Romano, you know, it doesn't matter. We're using Parmesan. One half a teaspoon kosher salt. However, I use the pink Himalaya salt. One fourth cup of mayonnaise. There we go. An easy way to measure mayonnaise is if you have a fourth of a cup, you get your like big spoon at your house, like your tablespoon, and you just plop, plop. Two big plops is a half a, I'm sorry, a fourth of a cup. I hope I didn't say teaspoon. Anyway. Um, and then black pepper to taste. I already have the oven at 350. I've already cleaned, trimmed, cut in half, blanched them. Okay. Now, I'm going to roux. <laughs> what do we do when we roux? I don't know. We take a drink. Okay. Roux makes me feel French, and I love doing it. Okay, so we're going to turn the heat on. I put it on medium. Okay. We are going to melt the butter. Ready. Okay, melt the butter. And if you're not making noise in the kitchen, just like if you're watching a hockey game and you ain't screaming, there's something wrong. So if you don't make noise in the kitchen, there we go. All right, that's two tablespoons of butter. Oh, I should talk French. Oui, oui, we are making a roux for the Brussels sprouts gratin. Yes, oui, oui, woo, I am Guy Lafleur. All right. Oh, sneezing, man. Sneezing twice. I was outside. It's the allergies, man. Allergy. Or it's the hop. Psst. Okay. All right. So we're melting the butter. And to make a roux, it's so easy. I add the flour, ooh, I add the flour and quickly whisk, and then I turn off the heat. So let's me get, uh, let's me get my whisk. Alright, that's my whisk. Alright, All right. add the flour slowly. You don't want anything to burn. Stir with, combine, remove clumps, turn off heat. After I got the clumps out, which is going to start looking like this, okay. All right, turn off the heat. Got to, got to make sure you pay attention to the directions. All right, turn off the heat. Add milk, salt, cheese, mayo, and black pepper. Stir until cheese is melted. All right, milk. Add the milk slowly too because it's hot. I mean the pan's hot. Just pour it all in because I know what I'm doing. Try 
trying to make this fast for you guys. Okay. Now let me whisk that together. Okay, then we add the salt. I do have extra cheese because I do put extra cheese on the top the last like between five and ten minutes of cooking so it gets a little bit of color and a, a little teeny bit of um, crust on the top but you can always use breadcrumbs or panko if you want some crunch so I'll probably use some panko all right yeah just make sure all the lumps are out which all the lumps have been out okay and now the Mayonnaise. Okay. All right. Spin this around. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a roo, baby, right round, roo, roo. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is also an improv comedy show. Okay. So, we got all that mixed up. And now we're going to add black pepper to taste. So, I, I like a lot of pepper. So, I do like 20 shapes. And then it looks pretty, you know. Even when you just put a little bit of pepper on top of ranch dressing, you know, to make it peppercorn, par parmesan peppercorn. Okay, now everything's melted, everything's going good. Hey mother, could you do me a big fat favor? Could you give me the pretty um, casserole dish I bought you from TJ Maxx so I can put the Brussels sprouts in it? Okay, now add Brussels sprouts and combine with cheese mixture. See how pretty green they are? Mm. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, I have a couple more. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. What? Uh-uh, what? Oh. <laughs> quiet on the set. My mother, quiet on the set. My mother doesn't want to be on camera. Isn't this pretty? Look how pretty that is. I bought that at TJ Maxx as a surprise for my mama. Okay. All right, now I'm going to switch to a wooden spoon. I'm going to mix that up. And don't worry about the um, leaves falling off of the Brussels sprouts. You save all the leaves when you cut it. You're just cutting off the nib, the end, and um, saving everything else because the leaves, of course, get all, you know. All right, so that's it. Now let me try to show you this. Okay. Woo, okay. Now that's all. That's easy. See how easy that is? So I'm going to add the Brussels sprouts and combine with the cheese mixture, which I did, pour into a baking dish, which I have. So I'm going to use a big spoon for that because I don't want to flop everything. Pour in the sprouts. And you know what? If you don't like Brussels sprouts, you will if you eat this. Because my friend, Eddie Casper, I made this. Now, I can't remember if it was the very first time I made it, Eddie, or not. But I made this for a Christmas um, get-together we had um, at Robin and Tim's house. And my arm is going to fall off because this is a heavy pan. Ugh. ugh okay. Um, and... I'm not sure if he said he didn't like Brussels sprouts, but he does now, or he did, wasn't too fond of them, and this was the best way. Okay, so now we're going to put this in the oven, right? All right, now it says 
Pour into baking dish and bake for about 40 to 50 minutes or until Brussels sprouts are tender. Well, I put it on for 30, check it, and then go from there. Um, for extra cheese crust, top with grated Parmesan cheese before baking. But see, what I do is I add it at the, like I said, the last 10 minutes of baking. Okay, so we're going to put this in the oven because it's already been preheated at 350. And then that's about it. Oh, wait, forgot my cheese. Forgot my cheese. Come back, come back, come back. Come back, Brussels sprouts. I need you again. Okay. Now this is when I add cheddar cheese, Mexican blend, anything. Any shred shredded. Any shredded cheese. So I just put that on top for more color, basically. And then it's a little bit more cheesier. And all I do is put it on the top. All right, and it looks beautiful. It really does. But that's it. That's it. That's all. Okay. All right, let me put it in. I'm going to get it in. This is called smushing in the oven. Okay, all right. 30 minutes. Okay. So... That's your lesson. Um, after it comes out, since I have no idea how to pause and go back, you know, when it comes out of the oven, because I'm a doofus. Um, but I'm still learning. So, like I said, when I post this video, I'll post the uh, recipe and um, extra pictures on my Facebook page of you know, what it looks like when it comes out of the oven and everything. Or I'll just come back and make a little teeny tiny video. All right. See you in about 50 minutes. Oh, wait. There's your heart for the day.